Legato music. That's mm-hmm. right. Yeah. All right. Legato music. That's mm-hmm. right. You are welcome. We are looking at the Christ like Christian. We are taking our Bible verse from the book of Matthew chapter 9, the verse 17. And it says, Neither do men put new wine into old bottles, else the bottles break, and the wine runneth out, and the bottles perish. But they put new wine into new bottles, and both are preserved. Hallelujah. So as it is impossible to eat your own vomit, so must it be impossible for you to go back and lean on your past character, while you are still a Christian. This way of life outside Christ is not accepted in Christ. Darkness and light has nothing in common. So a Christian with such worldly life is already a failure in Christ Jesus. Such person is only known a Christian by title, maybe because he or she goes to church, but not through her true Christ-like attitude. So the, the, real, the real Christian is the one with Christ's character which is not hidden but openly shown to all without mixture of other non-biblical rules and regulations. This person is well known by his character-centered life. Amen. This person is well known by his Christ-centered life. Fruits full of the ways of God without errors. This very Christian is blameless and always holding on to the right way of life expected by God. Becoming a Christian means I am now ready to forego the ways of the earth. And this decision I have taken so as to attain only the will of God concerning my life. I know I now know that I am a new person and never part of the old person. I'm not part of the old deeds and attitudes, but now new in Christ's deeds and attitudes. Amen. So 2 Corinthians chapter 5, the verse 17 says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. And all things are passed away, behold, all things are become new. It's not about the outward beauty, but the inner beauty. As some work hard on the outward appearance, leaving the most important part, which is the Christ-like way of life, not only how you can pray, sing, usher, preach, or practically do well in the church, but also in all must have, you must have the character of Christ, which really showcase your real identity as a Christian. As the book of Matthew chapter 7, the verse 21 said, Not everyone that say unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. So, you can't be a Christian with, on, with a worldly character. Before God, this person is not a Christian, belonging or having Christ. This kind is a fake Christian before God. Men may not recognize or identify you as fake, but God knows you are not a Christian, although you go to church and do all your duties in the church. Your attached to worldly lives has already separated you from the Lord. Let's look at Matthew chapter 7, the verse 22 to 23. And he says, Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you, depart from me, ye that work iniquity. So, the fake Christian is already honest or a way to hell. If you are a Christian, be a real Christian. You cannot mock God. Man reaps whatever he sows. So, the lukewarm Christian will never attain heaven. Such hidden sin, seed inside you will grow death plant, which, can, which shall be cut off and put into the fire. So, let's look at Matthew chapter 7, the verse 19. He said, Every tree that bringeth 
not for good fruit is healed down and cast into the fire. So the Christ-like Christian shall see God. The one with sinless life shall inherit the kingdom of God. Only true Christians shall be accepted by the Father. I mean by God. Not all are Christians, but only those who has the character of Christ. Only those who do or are doers of his word. May the Lord help you to attain the character in Christ Jesus. Be a Christ-like Christian. That is a true Christian. Copy.